Hello world. Hello, Hope is Alive. Hope is Alive. My name is Timothy Rudel, uh, the father of four beautiful children, husband of one beautiful Erica Rudel. Um, I got a lot of good things to say. I hope this doesn't come off as, you know, like I'm ignoring the world or I'm blind to the problems of the world, but um, one of the hardest things that happened in the very beginning of the pandemic was I wasn't able to attend my fourth child's birth. So it was kind of a, I was there for every other child, three other children I have, two boys and another girl. And they weren't allowed, allowing me to be at the hospital because I was quarantined. I was suspicion of being COVID positive, which at the time they didn't even have any tests. So I've never been tested for COVID, but I had no symptoms and they had no tests in Auburn. So I had to stay home and watch her birth, and she's right there. Um, she's so beautiful. Um, I had to watch it through FaceTime, um, and um, and but I got to enjoy her so much in 2020. It's like I got five weeks off after she was born, and um, so that really thinking about a recap of the year, that was one of the harder things. But it's like. It happened in a day and then the joy of her being home with us soon and enjoying her while we were stuck at home a lot and not being able to go as many places. It was really just a delight. It made the the year, it forced me to have hope, you know, regardless of the fact that it looks like there's no hope or there's so much darkness and there's so much things, so many things to be sad about and depressed about and glooming about. And, and so, um, yeah, and then it's like the rest of the year, I think, like, just blossomed because of the situation that, you know, having a fourth child in the midst of all of that, and all these good things happened, and, you know, and it's just like, yeah, was I tempted to be afraid? Was I tempted to have, you know, fear over the circumstances of society, the unknowns, um, you know, not being able to be around church family or friends in Syracuse, or, you know, being very limited in these regards of social interactions, and it's like, but Auburn kind of like where we live is in the rural rural city, kind of the rural, rural setting with a city that's not too big. And it seemed like it sort of missed the the blunt, you know, um, of the pandemic. I don't know of anybody personally that died. Um, I don't even know of anybody that got severely, severe symptoms, you know, people that stayed home maybe because of COVID. And so... I work at a prison. I only know of a couple people that has serious complications with COVID and I don't know anybody that died of coworkers or inmates. And there's over a thousand inmates that are usually regularly housed at Auburn Correctional Facility. So it's like I could reflect on these things that are negative in society you see through the TV or I could shut the TV off and I could look out the window and spring still came and summer still came and the seasons and and the, the the children were still playing and there's there's just like there's so much hope in so many things like in my life and even i see in so many other people's lives that i could look at that stuff and i could be like you know what i'm gonna be thankful i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna make myself happy and it's like i was tempted to be afraid and it's like but now i'm just i'm i'm over that i feel like god's taught me to just there's always going to be things to be afraid about there's always going to be things to worry about and be concerned and the scriptures say, do not be concerned about tomorrow, but only with the things that are going on today because tomorrow has enough worries of themselves. And, you know, once you get there, like, I guess you can deal with them then. But today, just deal with the things that are going on right now. And and the things that are going on right now in my life are, okay, I got to, like, love my family, love my neighbors, um, love, um, uh, I have a wonderful new neighbor. That was a joy to this year. Um uh, that I get to see often because he's close by and we get to interact. And so, um, yeah, so it's just reflect on the things that are going on in your current moment of existence and and see how how beautiful they are and, and, and embrace them and don't like, you know, just take them lightly as if, okay, well, yeah, this is nice right now, but the real the real truth of the world is that the world's going to, you know, going hell in a handbasket because all the hatred and all the anger and all the problems and all the, you know, societal, you know, sort of corruption and disruptions and, and you know, it, it just 
all these things, you know, or I can just focus on this. She's just beautiful. So I just bless you and I encourage you. Hope is alive. I know people around the world, hope is alive. And I, I so many stories of hope and um, truth prevails. In the end, truth wins, love wins. And so I'm sticking with that story. And uh, all right, God bless you. Have a great rest of the day.